Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install a MetaMask just to make sure that you are accessing this decentralized world, this whole world of cryptocurrency and the Ethereum plus Ethereum compatible chains going forwards. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this as simple and as beginner friendly as possible. Um, but just to start off, I'm going to show you why you need a MetaMask. So if you have a Binance, if you have a Coinbase, if you have all of these different uh, exchanges, you could have cryptocurrency. However, when you hear about NFTs, when you hear about uh, Pepe being launched, when you hear about tokens, all these different tokens that aren't available on these networks, on these centralized exchanges, you're sort of like, how do I access them? Well, the number one way is you have a decentralized wallet. You see, we can have a MetaMask, which is why you've clicked on this video today, a Coinbase wallet, um, a Wallet Connect, a Ledger, a Phantom, which is for Solana, which we'll get into these in a different video. Um, but today, MetaMask is the biggest, the most popular one, as you can see there. And also here, if we're on Uniswap, this is how you swap tokens decentralized, which we, again, we can get into later on. You can see there's a MetaMask here. And so in order to install the MetaMask, we have to go to the MetaMask website which is obviously metamask.io. Make sure it's metamask.io when you're here. A lot of the scams in this world come from, it's called phishing, which is people take you to a mirrored website or something that looks like everything that you use every day. And then you unknowingly submit your details on a website that is fake. So metamask.io, come and you can download. You can download it for Chrome. You can download it for Firefox. I'm using Brave today because I've, I've been using it for a while on Chrome. And so I'm using Brave today because I wanted to set it up brand new and show everyone how to do it. So we're here on MetaMask. It will load up the Chrome store and you add it to Brave. You can see there's 3000 uh, reviews over 10 million users. And you click add, add extension. This will be the same for Chrome and even all the others, I believe. All right, once it's installed, it will automatically load up. If it doesn't load up, click the extensions and click on the Fox. It will load up. Um, you can read through all these. As always, make sure you know what you're getting into. Read the terms and conditions, terms of use. And here you agree and click create new wallet. Um, you can agree to send them improvement reports. And then it says create password. Just be aware this is not a password for anything outside your local device. So this laptop here, this password is used purely for this laptop. This is not going to help you get back into the wallet on a different computer. That is the next step. This is just the password for this local device. Also, as you can see, if you forget this password, you will not be able to access this wallet on this device, but don't worry because you can go through a few steps to recover your wallet. And so this password, make sure you remember it, make sure it's secure, but it's only for your local device. Click create new wallet. Um, this here is the most important step. They now have a video on it, which is good because I assume a lot of people misunderstood this step. Watch this video, but click, do not remind me later. This is very important. Click secure my wallet. This here will give you your seed phrase. This is the most important part of any decentralized wallet. This is a 12 word string. So there's 12 words in a row. I'll actually show you mine. It says, make sure nobody's looking. Do not show anyone else yours. Do not do this for anyone else. Luckily, I'm just going to delete this wallet. I'm not going to use this wallet going forward. So please do not you do this for your wallet. But here, these are 12 words in a row. All right, this is the seed phrase. Uh, you will hear this thrown around. They call it this secret recovery phrase because this enables you to recover your wallet or install your wallet on different devices, on your phone, on different wallet users, not just MetaMask. And this is basically like the backdoor key into your wallet. You put these words, price, better, endorse, member, maple, blah, 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 down to army in a row into any wallet. You'll be able to access your funds. Anyone will be able to access your funds. So this is where a lot of the scams come from in this world is tricking people into giving up your seed phrase. You won't ever have to give up your seed phrase unless you are trying to recover your wallet or load your wallet on a different device. Write these down, save these. Try not to keep them on your computer because obviously if you just get hacked, try not to do that. But if you, if you have to, at least initially until you know where you're going to save it, sure, I wouldn't recommend it. Write these down manually, put them in a box, write them down four different times, put them all around the house so you know where to access it if you ever need these. The, this is 
the most important part of any wallet is the seed phrase and that's why I've harped on about it. So this even enables, enables you to copy to clipboard and then you can paste it somewhere. But if you're gonna paste it somewhere, make sure you delete it over time. Especially if you're holding funds in this wallet, a lot of money in this wallet, don't have your seed phrase pasted on your desktop. Remember these, remember these orders, that will even get you to remember the, them here. So I'm gonna save them and I'll bring, be back when we're on the next step. All right, once you click through the next step, it'll get you to confirm this. Just This just makes sure you are remembering the seed phrase, which hopefully this video instills in you and also don't give anyone your seed phrase this just reaffirms this so find your seed phrase whatever word was third so this is me confirming it me confirming that i know it. i filled in endorse member casino confirm wallet creation successful and then okay you've got it so it says to pin the metamask which if you're on Chrome or Brave, you'll be able to pin it here just by pressing this button. I would recommend so you don't have to click on the puzzle piece every time. And then if you're anywhere, you can click on the fox. It will load up your MetaMask. Couple of things here, a real quick rundown, and we can go into uh, using your wallet, adding different networks, Polygon, BNB, Avalanche, Moonriver, all of these networks we can add later. But for now, I'm just gonna run you through what's on the screen. Up here, this is your account. The reason it says account one is because you can actually have multiple different wallets on the same MetaMask account. You can see you can create another one and name it, which we will do. So here's the second wallet, and then we go back to account one. So you already have two different wallets on here. I wouldn't recommend doing that anytime soon. There's no point doing that at the start, especially as a beginner, that will just come down the line. This here is your wallet address. This is your public wallet address. Just like if you are, you have a bank account and you have a BSP and an account number, at least in Australia, that's what you have. In the US, I think it's like a routing number and something else. It, or your postal address, your mail address. This is your wallet address. If you copy this and you paste it anywhere. This here, I've, I've just pasted it here so we can actually see the full string. This here is basically your uh, wallet ID. Like anyway, if you want to send funds to this wallet, you would need this address. If you want people to send funds to this wallet, you'll need this address. This is also public. This doesn't need to be hidden. You can have this public. You can send this around. This can be your Twitter profile. This can, you can post it on forums. You can do all that. This is public. No one can do anything once they have your wallet address. Don't worry. You won't get stolen. Nothing will get stolen with just your wallet address. All right, here, you've got this buy function. You come in, you put your country in here. And then it says you can buy with debit or credit card. You can pay buy with pay ID, really. So this is Australia. Let me have a look what you can do in the US. In the United States, let's say we're in California. You can buy ETH with PayPal, debit or credit card, bank transfer, wild transfer, cash app. Very cool. This is something new. That's very cool that you can just buy with all those. Obviously, all these, you'll have a fee to get these in versus just using a centralized exchange and sending it over, which I can show you how to do in a separate video. They're the options. In order to send funds, if you had ETH in here, you can send funds. So you come in here, you just paste, just as this is your wallet address, you paste in someone's wallet address, you choose the asset and you just send. This is literally like sending money. You are sending Ethereum to someone else. You pay a little bit of gas to make sure the Ethereum, the transaction goes but you're sending funds come in here swap this is if you want to swap any token for another token this is sort of what i was touching on at the start where if you wanted to buy pepe before it blew up if you wanted to buy shiba before it blew up if you want to buy any of the coins that are on ethereum but they are not on your centralized exchange this is where you could come in and do it with your ethereum you can swap for um mana which is decentraland you can swap for these and you can say 0.1 ETH swap, $180 for mana. It will find quotes. Then you can do this with the cool little fox. And then this is the quote. And then you just click swap. You pay a little fee to do it. And then you swap. And this is how you access decentralized funds. Again, I will do a separate video on this. That's actually quite confusing for people who haven't used it before. Stay tuned for a one where I explain the different blockchains, what they do, and exactly what this bridge button will do. Assets, this will show you all the tokens that you have in this wallet. For example, this is a brand new wallet, so I have zero ETH, but if I had 10 ETH, it would show me 10 ETH. If I had USDC, it would show me that as well. NFTs, this is uh, new. If you have purchased any NFTs on OpenSea, for example, it will show in this wallet. Activity is all the different transactions you've done on your wallet, on the Ethereum mainnet, it will show up here. 
this is the basic rundown of MetaMask. We can go a lot deeper, which I think I'll go deeper in the next MetaMask video that I do. But thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. And make sure you don't share your seed phrase with anyone, ever.